my good, good news. Today I am going to show you how to make paneer mushroom tawa masala. Guys, here I have 350 grams of onions which have been sliced as you can see here. Then here I have a kasturi methi that's nothing much the fenugreek seeds which, uh, which has been dried, dried fenugreek seeds. Then here I repeat guys, this is nothing much the dry fenugreek leaves. Here I have a uh, cumin uh, seeds powder, that is zira powder, this is a uh, chaat powder, I mean sorry guys, this is a uh, kitchen king masala, I am using half a teaspoon, you can add according to your taste too, then salt according to taste. Here I have pounded cumin seeds, that's pounded zira. And here I have some curry powder. This also comes to half a teaspoon. If you would like the more taste of it, you can increase. That's left over you. So guys, here I have the colorful peppers. Uh, I have been using red, green, yellow. Uh, everything I have used half, half or one, one. You can add according to your taste also. It's somewhere around two, completely two uh, pepper, peppers. Then here I am using the mushroom. This is uh, 250 grams of mushroom or 200 grams of mushroom. Paneer also 200 grams I'm using. As you can see the cubes here, I've cut it into this shape. Nice, thick and fat. You can cut according to your taste also, the sizes, according to your preference. Then here I have one last tomato being sliced in this way. As you can see, then I will be using oil and butter for cooking. I want a taste of the delicious butter and oil. So I'll be mixing the half the oil and butter and I'll be cooking it. And you will be needing also ginger garlic paste, approximately 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic, uh, ginger paste, 1 tablespoon of garlic paste. If you are using the uh, mixed paste, you can use uh, uh, 2 tablespoons of each. Apart from that guys, you can log into my videos to see how to make ginger garlic paste, uh, ginger paste and garlic paste. So now we will start with the preparations. Apart from that guys, I will be using even pounded garlic, it's approximately 1 tablespoon. Uh, so guys. I'll be using the ginger garlic paste plus uh, garlic pounded as I like the taste more of garlic in it. So it's finely pounded guys, approximately 1 tablespoon. So now we'll start with the preparations. So guys, here I have taken a tawa where I have added a nice amount of oil and butter into it. Once the oil and the butter get nicely heated up, I'll be adding the onion sliced into it. So guys, as you can see, the oil and the butter has been heated. Now I'll be adding uh, the cumin, pounded cumin seeds, that is a pounded zira seeds, that is a pounded zira, mostly pounded zira, that's just for the good aroma of it. Now I'll be nicely stir frying it, till I get the nice aroma of the cumin seeds. Once you start getting now I'll be adding the onions. I'll be stir frying it nicely with the oil and the butter till it turns into lightly golden brown. We are not going to turn it into nice golden brown as it, uh, as the time we keep on in the, adding the ingredients, uh, it will take its own color. So if we uh, in in hand beforehand we make it golden brown, then it won't taste good. It will just get cooked a lot. So we will just make it slightly golden brown. Uh, once your onions are slightly, nicely golden, slightly golden brown, I'll be adding the pounded garlic and I'll fry it well in the oil. As I've bought the onions to side, I have collected the oil in the middle where I'll be frying the pounded garlic. It's been finely pounded. As you can see, it's looking almost like paste. So guys, I'll be uh, stir frying it till it gives light intensifying aroma of garlic uh, paste. Then I'll be, once you mix it, nice, I mean once you start getting the nice garlic uh, aroma, I'll be just uh, putting it to the side. And now I'll be adding the ginger garlic paste. So guys, now I'll be adding the ginger garlic paste to it. And this also I'll stir fry nicely till it gives out nice aroma so ginger garlic paste is two tablespoons if you're using mixed ginger garlic paste then two tablespoons if you're using the ginger garlic paste separately one te uh, teaspoon or uh, uh, one teaspoon of uh, ginger one teaspoon of 
garlic paste. Guys, I'll be using nice large heaps of garlic paste and ginger paste. So guys, uh, once you stir fry all your masalas, if you're finding that your ma uh, masalas are getting burnt, you can add uh, water. But right now, I'll be adding a uh, little bit of I'll be adding the cumin powder, then the kasturi methi, then the curry powder, kitchen king powder, and I'll be mixing it well in the oil. Till you get the nice intensifying aroma. Once you start getting nice intensifying aroma and you find that your masala is catching at the bottom of the pan, you can go ahead and sprinkle little water. Just sprinkle little. We are not going to add a large amount of water. You sprinkle the uh, water and uh, allow the masala to get nicely cooked. Once the masala is nicely cooked, I will be mixing it with all the onions nicely. So guys, now I'll be adding the peppers. If you want the peppers crunchy, you can add it at last. But in my house, we would like to have the soft uh, peppers. So I'll be adding the peppers. Nice amount of peppers. Then I'll be adding the mushrooms. I'm using the button mushrooms here. As you can see. Then I'll be adding the paneer. A paneer is nothing much than the Indian cotton cheese. Uh, then I'll be using the Tomatoes, few uh, tomato slices as you can see here, longitudinally cut. And now I'll be mixing everything together. Be gentle over it as we're using the pan and we don't want to spill out the masala outside the pan. Mix all the ingredients well in this way. Uh, guys, if your tawa is small and uh, it's becoming difficult for you to mix all the ingredients, you can go ahead and divide the ingredients into two batches and also cook in that way too. As uh, my tawa is uh, a little bit small, so I'm using it and dividing into two batch and I'll be cooking here. This is my first batch. I have more left over where I'll be cooking it in the second batch. Then once I mix all the ingredients well, so guys, uh, once as I told you, I added all the ingredients, all the veggies, paneer, etc. Now I'll be just sprinkling a little bit of uh, salt according to the taste. Then uh, you have to saute the, all the ingredients nicely so that it get blend with all the flavors. Then if you find that catching at the bottom or you find, feel it uneasy to cook it, uh, as you might uh, get scared that it might catch at the bottom, just with your bare hand, just sprinkle a little bit of water, very little water, so that it uh, keeps the pan moist, moist and helps in cooking well. Now I'll bring everything to the middle and I'll be closing it with the lid. Uh, guys, sorry guys, after sprinkling the salt, I forgot to fix it. So guys, always remember, uh, the peppers also leaves its own juices. The tomatoes leaves its own juices. Mushroom leaves its own juices. And paneer too leaves its juices. Or its water. Or its water. So guys, uh, accordingly, you have to sprinkle a little bit of water. Don't add much as your veggies might become soggy. Now I'll get everything into the, uh, in, into the center. And I'll be closing it with the lid. Once I close it with the lid, guys, please, guys, remember, in intervals of time, we'll be uh, stirring it nicely so that it cooks from all over and keep the flame on low. And apart from that, see if it's catching at the bottom. You can go ahead and sprinkle some more water. And most probably, I don't think so, it'll uh, catch at the bottom as all ingredients contain a large amount of water in it or juices in it. So, but still, for the better preference and better cooking, you feel like you have got to add more water, we'll be sprinkling some water and in intervals of time, we'll be stirring it on low flame. Apart from that, guys, uh, it will be done only when your mushrooms are cooked nicely. As soon as the mushrooms cook, immediately we'll switch off the stove and we can serve it. It's done. Uh, here, after a few minutes, somebody took me. After 15 minutes, uh, I'll be just moving the lid. And here I can see my mushrooms have gone little down in size, small in size. And I can feel that everything has been cooked nicely. So it uh, took approximately uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'll be dishing it. I switched off the stove. Now I'll be dishing it out in my utensil. 
my small tawa where i'll be using dum 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 mushroom tawa fry masala please guys guys like my video and subscribe bye bye